Hey, what do you say, rock stars? Saturday afternoon, cryptopreneurs, fam, LM pros, our first live since I recuperated from COVID. Could you imagine that? I'm alive and well, feeling better than I ever have. And we're just going to share some information today. And uh, disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner. Uh, this is not to be taken as financial advice. Uh, these are things that you could be doing today in lieu of the imminent um, turnaround and the great reset. You know, it's uh, the evidence is clear. It's just a matter of timing and positioning. So don't ever make uh, any investment decisions based upon what I'm sharing with you today. Do your own due diligence and research and uh, always be prepared for the best and uh, but expect the worst that can happen in this volatile marketplace as change is the only opportunity in the future. And just know and rest assured that change is imminent. It's coming. It's not going away. And there will be winners and losers in this marketplace. So let's take a peek because um, I got some exciting facts uh, to share with you in today's show. Take a peek and we'll see what's going on here with the Ripple XRP Digital Pound Foundation and the G7 agreeing potentially on the future price already, putting down the criteria for what a digital asset is uh, very important for the future in the evolution during this great reset to digital assets and the debate over whether or not XRP is a uh, security, we know it's not the rest of the world does. Uh, it's a hold up and a stall to clarify and prepare the waiting world for the flip to switch, but it is imminent. And just you know, see if you don't agree here, and this was on, you gotta follow the information. Ripple XRP gets another central bank. Could you imagine? The central banks are already using and have tested this particular technology, and it's the one of choice. This potential, and rumors say it could turn into uh, a, uh, a global stable coin. Who knows if the US and the G7 want to maintain the strength and the prospectus of our prominence in the digital dollar marketplace? Well, here's a US-based company until we decide to move out because most of the business comes from outside the US. And uh, it's just a matter of time. But take a look here at, uh, this is just a, a nuisance ad, but if you'll see here, Brad Garlinghouse at the Davos World Economic Forum in the 2022 reset, comes in he is a guest speaker and the world economic forum is going to set the precedent and choose the time-tested 10-year track record that this man has uh, fought hard uh to build and claim its dominance in the digital marketplace but this is credibility this is evidence uh of things to come with the customer case studies over on Ripple, between all the large banks, Santander, Money Match, Cross, Transfer Go, Centerbee, and many, many more, MoneyNet, Extend Pay, um, SBI Remit, and Neum are all Ripple partners. Most of the largest banks, 150 of the top 200 banks are already tied in, and Ripple customers waiting for the imminent scale up. The AWS partner profile from RippleNet, XCross, process real-time payments, X Rapid source of on-demand liquidity, which they provide. It's the handwriting, it's the clues, it's the potential that uh, we see in this marketplace. And, you know, from zero to hero, uh, this is just one platform where you're able to take loans out. This is the DeFi platform. 
I'm holding, I guess, just under well, 906 over here, XRP at the moment. You'll see at the track record for the time, right here is where we're tracking. This is a daily chart as it uh, crunched down into the low 30s. And uh, the good news is I don't have uh, much debt. I used to have a $2,700 lien on the 6,800 XRP. Well, I don't have 6,800 XRP. I don't have the loan out. I got about a thousand left. And uh, the good news is uh, I certainly do believe that uh, it is time to get more. This was the all time high. We were buying it up through here and still looked at it at a dollar, dollar 20 as a great uh, price. And then it zoomed up to a uh, dollar 80 up here. That's when we had about 12,000 of them. Um, and we took a 33% loan out against that. And then the market crashed and went to 62 cents. So it halved in value and they called the loan in and uh, we got liquidated, a good portion of it got liquidated. So we held on to it for a while and it, it dipped it and it's down here where it's a great deal. It's called, it's a steal. So we're over here looking at, uh, I guess the current price, 39 cents um, is certainly uh, a bargain in our opinion. So what we have here is we're gonna do a transact and we're going to go from, um, I want to make sure we've got the right funding uh, card here. So debit or credit cards, which we're going to use this one here. Okay, so I guess the question is, the big question, I guess it's, um, I want to get about two, 600, 200, uh, no, 600? For the USD. We want this to go to our XRP core account. And I'll do it. Let's see if it likes it today. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. This is why we use uh, Uphold of its convenience and then its versatility. And it's tied into a card. So there you go. We just put um, 600 XRP into our account. It's 240 bucks at today's value, but it's our firm belief and don't believe it, uh, don't take my word for it, that, that it's got a potential of uh, at least four figures, if not more. And uh, that's the end of today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date on all the latest and greatest breakthroughs because there's tons of deals right now if you know what you're doing and where to look. So with that in mind, We'll end the show. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Gotta go.